Você que está ouvindo esse podcast, o que acha de uma empresa que sempre trabalha para trazer impacto positivo? Assim é o Google. Como? A Duda da Orb é um exemplo disso. Ela usa a inteligência artificial para ajudar pessoas a recuperarem seus movimentos. É a tecnologia mais útil na vida das pessoas. E tem o Jefferson da Tributei, que usa inteligência artificial para facilitar o dia a dia das empresas. Eles e milhares de empreendedores geraram mais de 188 bilhões com as plataformas do Google. Tem que ser bom para todo mundo. I'm Al John Go, podcaster and producer of the Disney List, Skull Rock Podcast and Dining at Disney. When you're creating content, podcast, webcasting, live streaming, or wanting to step up your video conference calls, you need quality gear and accessories. That's why I use Gator Frameworks in my studio. From professional broadcast boom arms and microphone stands, studio monitor speaker stands, ring light kits, headphone holders, elite furniture studio desks, and acoustic wall treatments, Gator Frameworks has you covered. Gator is the leading brand of cases, stands, and support system solutions for music, pro AV, creative pro, IT, and general utility industries. They have over 1,000 different solutions made from vacuum plastics, rational molded plastics, wood, sewn, and EVA materials. Leveraging their expertise in case design and manufacturing, Gator has a complete OEM division that works with leading companies around the world to engineer and create custom cases for original equipment manufacturers. For more information, visit GatorFrameworks.com. Product provided in exchange for promotional consideration. This is Kat from Dining at Disney, and I'm here with Kristen. Kristen, tell us about some travel deals. Well, if you're looking to head over to Disneyland, they have a special offer going on right now where you can save up to 25% off on select stays at the Disneyland Resort Hotels, which include the Grand Californian Hotel and Spa, Disneyland Hotel, as well as Paradise Pier Hotel. And this is going to be now through September 29th that you can enjoy stays. So you must book this no later than September 22nd, and your travel must be complete by September 30th. That sounds great. And how can they book these? You can contact me at themeparksandcruises at gmail.com. To podcasters, recording musicians, and streamers who are looking for studio quality audio at home or on the road, the Shure MV7 Podcast Kit is a premium all-in-one solution inspired by the legendary Shure SM7B and is designed to address the versatility required by modern creators. For more on the Shure MV7 Podcast Kit, visit Shure.com. S-H-U-R-E dot com or click the link in our show notes. Sure, sound extraordinary. From the Gator Framework Studio in Music City, it's the Dining at Disney Podcast. You know the thing about good food? It brings folks together. All walks of life. You'll discover all the best restaurants and food as you hungrily explore the Disney parks. Let's do this thing! The Dining at Disney Podcast with your hosts, Kristen Hetzel, Bubba Alvarez, and Kat Arcori. Welcome to the Dining at Disney podcast. I'm Kristen. With me is Bubba, Kat, and producer Al John. If you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe. We do two shows a week. You can catch this one as well as another one typically that is released on Thursdays. So, Kat, do you want to tell everybody what we're talking about today? We're going to talk about some vegetarian plant-based options around the world of Disney from Walt Disney World to Disneyland today. Some meatless options, some maybe cheeseless options. We'll see what happens. And these these are going to be like dishes that we enjoy. Yes. Okay. So, Kat, since this was your idea... I'm going to have Since I suckered you guys into this. I'm going to go first. <laughs> yes. You had me scratching okay. my head, by the way, because I'm like, wait, is this meatless? Oh, no, it's not because it's a corn dog. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> so, how about just cheese, though? You just have the cheese one. They do. They do. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Well, this is my payback for last week's sandwiches where I was like, I have no idea what is happening. <laughs> Uh, my number one pick is Senna at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. Um, they're, in my case, gluten-free bread and uh, bread service, traditional naan with uh, like nine different dips. Yeah, there's like nine accompaniments. They're all vegetarian. They're all delicious. 
Some are spicy, some are sweet, savory, one of everything. They have a pickle. You really can't go wrong. <laughs> they have a pickle. <laughs> they have a pickle. I have to say that that is one of my, I would say if we had to name top 10 food items across the parks that yeah. we enjoy, that is definitely on my list. It's, it's, it is one easily, of my favorite things to get. The sauces it's so are good. just so good. It's easily it's so our, good. It's easily in my top five. Yeah. It's a must do. Yeah. Anytime oh, we're yeah. there. So much so that we ended up getting the uh the the bread service dish plate set or mm-hmm. whatever that they have with the recipe cards and the whole thing that they have in the in the gift the gift section. We ended up getting it because we got to have this at the house. We have to have it. It's so good. It's, it's the so best. good. And they they do a gluten free non, which is super fun. Um, but then also for you people that can have regular bread, they have um Garlic ginger naan, spice naan, onion kulcha, paneer paratha. There's all sorts of different st- different things, but it's all vegetarian. It's all meatless. Um, a lot of Indian uh, people and a lot of Indian cultures over there eat meat free um, for religious reasons, for personal reasons, whatever floats their boat. So there's a lot of options over here. The Indian bread service is the top at Sanaa. It's just like the must have you have to have it if you don't get it you are wrong (laughs) um but then they also (laughs) this is why i have no friends because i say things like that's not true Um, (laughs) that's not true (laughs) you have a lot of friends I'm your that's friend true. i'm your friend i have you guys and that's all that matters I'm your you friend. let me Don't say dumb things <laughs> they also have a really delicious salad sampler that has a berber black eyed pea salad, a jicama and citrus salad, and a Tunisian beet shiramula, which is like amazing. Like, I, well, you could put it on a flip flop and I would eat it. Um, it's so good. It's so only if the flip flop was plant based, obviously. But, you know. Yeah, it's got to be plant based. Yeah, it's a rubber exactly. tree. It's work, it works for you. It's a rubber tree. Whatever. You know what yes. else is cool, though, that they do here? Um, it, right now it's not going on, but it will come back. Is the dine with an animal specialist? Oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yes, yes. I've always wanted to do that. I okay, so this is not about Sanaa, but it's about Indian food and, and Animal Kingdom. I recently got to work with one of the original Disney Imagineers, Nacho Rodi, somebody else. Um, and we had Indian food together and we were talking about um this and we were talking about Animal Kingdom and animals and fake rocks. It was like one of the best meals of my life. The food was so good and the company was great too. But it made me think of the the animal specialist and lunch with an imagineer. I can't wait till those things come back. I yeah. hope they do so. Oh, I know. Mm-hmm. Isn't it great to be an experience? Uh, exper- I, whatever you do, Kat, it's whatever you do. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I, isn't design. it great to do what you do? Yes, experiential like design. Sleep and uh, drink Diet Coke. <laughs> and then wake up and drink more Diet Coke. Exactly. That's right. That's right. No, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, Sana is my pick for first and top and best plant based vegetarian. And in, in some cases, vegan. There are some dairy free options here, too. So, if you're looking for that as well, Sana. Sana. I love it. Sana. <laughs> How about you, Bubba? Well, I mine's kind of like not just one item, but it's it's one item, but it's done several different ways, which is the old fashioned funnel cake. Mm-hmm. You know, like I said, it's meatless, but I mean, I don't know which ones are at Disney World, but here at Disneyland, you can get I mean, there's they have an Oreo uh, funnel cake, a churro funnel cake, strawberry funnel cake, strawberry lemon funnel cake, a wild berry funnel cake, you know, just chocolate funnel cake, whatever you want. Even if you just want a plain funnel cake, I mean, that's what's so great about it. I mean, I don't, I, I basically think there's no meat on a funnel cake whatsoever. Uh, I don't know if anybody's had a meat funnel cake. But I would like to try that, by the way. Somebody who owns a booth at the state fair, their ears are like perking up like a Yeah, Scooby-Doo. Like, I Scooby-Doo. can do something like a pork Hold chop on. funnel cake or, you know, something <laughs> yeah. like that. Yeah, you know. The, a burger, the, funnel cake burger. Yeah, you know, those meat funnel cakes are also known as meat pies, guys. <laughs> meat pies, yeah. <laughs> also known as empanadas. Go ahead. Research uh, it. You can do it about <laughs> a nice little empanada or something like that. Uh, so, you know, 
just I'm a funnel cake guru. I had a funnel cake last time I was there. I had the strawberry lemonade funnel cake. Perfect mm-hmm. amount of, you know, berry and citrus taste. Um, it just you can't go wrong. Yeah, like I said, state fair type food. Uh, but it's mm, so good. And I just love how you can just throw stuff on it and it's it tastes different, but yet it's all just delicious no matter what. Agreed. Mm-hmm. I don't know what you guys prefer on your funnel cake, but I mind just like everything. Yeah. It's like a Sunday. Just put whatever you want on it. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. I, I like it when they have the seasonal funnel cakes. Mm-hmm. Those are always good. Funnel oh, cakes yeah. are never bad. You just have to prepare yourself to get powdered sugar on yourself. Yeah. You know, if you're not prepared, like you will be. Oh, you're eating you a could, beignet too. Yeah. Just yeah. It's like beignets. Really it's like, yeah. Look you like. Just, yeah, you look. Scarface. I was going to say you look like Al Pacino. <laughs> <laughs> say hello to my little bit, my little friend, my little beignet, my little beignet. <laughs> anyway. uh, so yeah, funnel cake it is. Okay, so I'm going to go to a restaurant that probably a lot of people don't think of when you think of vegetarian dishes, and that would be over at Sebastian's Bistro. And they have like a whole section of just plant-based menu items. Sebastian's Bistro at Caribbean Beach Resort, Walt Disney World. Yes. This used to be where you like ordered individual menu items. And now um, since the pandemic, they've been doing, uh, it's got a standard pricing per adult and you get a wide variety of things. So I'm going to go, they have a whole Like I said, plant-based one. It has a house-baked rolls that have a guava butter and caramelized onion jam. Mm. And then your Taste of Caribbean includes the Impossible Kebab, Fried Jerk Tofu, Impossible Sausage served with cilantro rice and red beans, Mm. Vegetable Curry, and Grilled Broccolini. Now, what... Wow. Made this come to my mind immediately when we when you said vegetarian was their vegetable curry. That's what I've had from that part of the menu. Um, they had previously had you could either get the vegetable or the goat curry. Now mm. I don't I don't eat goat, <laughs> so it went with the vegetable curry. And I was amazed at how good it was. Like I had told him, I was like, this is probably one of the best vegetarian entrees that I've had. It just had a lot of flavor and the vegetables weren't mushy. Like it was cooked just right. And so I really, really enjoyed that. Um, they also have what's called the spice necklace salad. It's mixed greens and kale with toasted pumpkin seeds, grilled pineapple, orange, spice candied walnuts, radish with a key lime dressing. Mm. And for dessert, it is a coconut pineapple bread pudding with plant-based caramel sauce, vanilla rice milk, frozen dessert. Yum. Which sounds I've never delicious. eaten there. You like it? Yes. We went not long after it first opened up and tried okay. it. And yeah, when I That's saw my curry list. on the menu, I was like, oh, I'm going to do that. And we had a ama- Our server was amazing when we were there. Okay. We were very that's happy. One, my mom really wants to try that. So that's on my ADR list for this next, for our trip in October. So I need to, I need to work on that. Yeah. But it, everything sounds so good there. I can't wait to try it. But they have, I mean, if you are into meat, the items, of course, they've got like a whole section. The Taste of Caribbean is different. Now, the one thing which I am, actually two things I'm happy to see that actually carry over from the plant base is the vegetable curry carries over as well as the grilled broccolini. Cool. But the rest is all meat dish items. And they sound amazing if you're into meat. There you go. Awesome. Okay, Kat, what's next on your list? Oh, actually, John, we gotta are ask you not Al participating? John. I can if you'd like. Producer Al John. <laughs> no, Al John, just stay there. I'm just going <laughs> to stay in the corner. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to go to Animal Kingdom. It's okay. Uh, Animal Kingdom over there at Settley Canteen, mm. uh, they do have a lot of great 
vegetarian options in the animal kingdom, which is very good. So try the vegetable steamed curry pods, which are the bao buns. It's got mm. vegetables in it. And if you uh, feel a little froggy, put a little soy sauce in it because that's what I do every time. So, uh, and, and since we're there, I'll just go ahead and knock this one out too, because they also have a fried tofu bowl. If you're into tofu, uh, which I, I, I occasionally will get that, I got to get my bean curd on. So I'm going to go ahead and get the tofu, uh, spicy chili spice, crispy fried tofu bowl. It's never bad. Fried tofu is great. And, um, so definitely go down there, settling canteen, go ahead and get your, your vegetarian on. Mm -hmm. Yes. I could have gone for some of the more low hanging fruit, but you'll probably hear that later on Mm -hmm. in the show. So (laughs) I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it. My second pick is um, over at Magic Kingdom, uh, surprisingly. It is uh, over at Jungle Skipper Canteen. They have two things on their menu that I really like that are plant-based. And the first is the Orinoco Ida's Cachapas. It's a house-made corn cake, beer roasted corn, Fresno pepper, slasso, and avocado cream. It's like an arepa. It's really good. Love those. Um, the beer roasted corn, like I could eat a tub of that it's so good (laughs) and then they also have a really lovely falafel the falls family falafel it's chickpeas garlic onion lemon juice and herb with white bean dip and tomato cucumber salad that is also gluten-free which is nice so it's plant-based and gluten-free which usually you check one or the other boxes lately but um (laughs) they have two really really lovely options they also have a vegetable curry over there and um they have a lime panna cotta in quotes because it's vegan with mango lime sorbet and the mango lime sorbet is just really good so if you're in the magic kingdom and you're looking for some options and you have time to sit down um the draw here is that they also have beer (laughs) if you're into that yes one of the very few places at magic kingdom where you can get an alcoholic beverage um and a plant-based vegetable veggie friendly dish jungle skipper canteen jungle navigation company over there in adventureland come for the come for the vegetarian food stay for the beer truth (laughs) (laughs) Okay, Bobo, what about you? Oh, wow. So we're going to head over to Batu Star Wars land. I knew it. We're going to head there. Mm-hmm. You're, he's going to talk about the garden. No, no, no. Go, no, no. You, you do it. It's yours, man. Okay. Well, there's a couple things. I mean, first of all, the blue and green milk is vegan. Mm-hmm. Veg- I mean, the, you can't go wrong with any of those. I mean, I prefer the blue. I mean, last time we were there, I had two blue milks. I just overindulged because I missed it so much. Oh, oh, but did you have it with the, the stuff in it? Oh. That, I don't know what that's like, the jellies or whatever. I want, if anyone has had it, tell me because no, I, I want to know. Yeah, I don't even think they offered it on the really? app or anything. Well, I ordered <sighs> it through the app. I mean, okay, okay. I mean, so I didn't see it on the app. You can't go wrong with that. Yeah. Uh, one of my uh, family members did get the garden wrap the ronto list you know garden wrap i took a bite of it you know i had the same flavor uh you know just without the meat i highly recommend that you know to if any of you're not eating meat get that the uh popcorn at a uh, kata or cat satas i believe it was called um you know vegan but it's tasty really good you have to get some of that and uh there was one more thing we had this at the um Oga's Cantina, and it was the hummus spread and the little garden chips that you can dip with it. Mm, they were really, it was surprisingly very good. It doesn't look like, I mean, it looks out of this world. It does. They did a great job with it, but, you know, that's something that you can definitely have meatless and enjoy all those things at bed too. Yeah. Love it. Okay, so I am going to head over to Epcot to La, H- La Hacienda. And they even have a a small vegetarian menu there that you can choose from. And my, the one that I would say is my kind of thing, because I like cheese and I like empanadas. So I would have to go with empanadas de queso, uh, cheese empanadas, and they are served with rice and beans. But they also have uh, tacos, the vegetables, 
ensalada de la casa, which is a spinach salad. Bow salad. Uh, and it sounds amazing. I haven't tried it, but I think that may be what I try next time. It's queso fresco, tomatoes, pomegranate, pine nuts, and avocado with a mustard vinaigrette dressing. I like that. Ooh. I, lo- I love the pine nuts and yeah. avocado. That's wonderful. And the vinaigrette's always good. That sounds good. And yeah. they also have an enchiladas de vegetables. That would have been my choice. Uh, mm. Yeah, I think the enchilada, I'm going to have to try that next time. Yeah. I I like salads, so like that's if I'm trying to eat healthy, that's always my go-to. Yep. And I like I prefer vinaigrettes to most dressings too. So a lot lighter, same. A lot lighter. I like to make my own. Yeah. You would be so proud of me, Cat. I made the uh, Hollywood Brown Derby cob salad and even made the dressing. Mm-hmm. Green goddess dressing. I'll have to send you a picture of it. <laughs> it I took good. a picture and I was going to text it to you. And I think I forgot. <laughs> well, you didn't send it to me, but I forgive you. I hope it was delicious. <laughs> um, uh, unlike the vegetarian friendly, she did load it up with a lot of bacon bits for yours. Truly. Yeah, I, I assumed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bacon, eggs, bacon and eggs. Recipe. Chicken. The only thing I didn't have was the turkey. Yeah, no. I, I so it had everything I, but the turkey. Yes, it was good, though. It was good. Yeah. What is your dish? Okay, so I am a big fan of pizza, and I'm going to go to Blaze. So we're gonna oh. we're gonna go over to Blaze at Disney Springs, over there at the Walt Disney World Resort. There you can make your own pizza, and the good news is when you when you do that, you've got so many great options for you. You could totally go and do a meatless pizza. Because they have a uh, heart of artichoke, they've got tons of spinach. They've got, of you know, they've got the uh, the vinaigrette. Could, oh, is it the vinaigrette? Yeah, no balsamic balsamic vinegar. You could put on there uh, pesto, which I love mm-hmm. so much. And so definitely go there, build your own pizza. There's tons of toppings for you, um, fresh mozzarella, all kinds of good stuff for the mm-hmm. vegetarian in you. So don't feel left out um, because. You know, vegetarians love pizza. I load up. Put some pineapple on there. You could. Hey, look. Look. I I load mine up with so much stuff when I go because I like a lot of different things on my pizza. And so I'm there. I'm like, yeah, uh, I'll take, you know, these 15 different items. You can put all of them on my pizza. So by the end, it's like. Topping with some pizza. (laughs) Uh, This week, Gary Vaynerchuk. One of my personal heroes had said that he is against pineapple on pizza. And I, I say, have it your way. I yeah, don't I'm care sure. what Gary V says. Uh, mm. Pizza is what you make it. And mm. if you're all about meat lovers, if you're all about veggie, that's a beautiful thing about pizza that we make here in America. Have it your way. Yes. And my way. I mean, there's, there's so my, many different variations. Exactly. You could do peanut butter pizza. You exactly. could do... I mean, it, just whatever. I, That's what I, I love I, about pizza. I don't like it, but I don't have to like it because have it your way. Exactly. And you know what? My way is deep dish pepperoni pineapple. What you going to do about it? Look like you're going to mm. punch somebody. Well, you know, you got, I, I'm very loading up. He's got a point to make. He's love, passionate about the pineapple look, and the pizza. Look. <laughs> Well, you know, here, just because I'm <laughs> just because I'm Filipino doesn't automatic me automatically mean that I love pineapple on my pizza, but it's true. Mm-hmm. I love yeah. pineapple on I my pizza yeah. and I don't care who knows about it. I'm going to shout it from the rooftop. And I do like those build your own place, those build your own pizza places, you know, like Blaze. There's one right across from Disneyland called oh, Pizza yeah. Press, which a lot of people go to. too. Much. No matter if you add one topping or if you add 30 toppings, it's the same price. It's the same <laughs> price and you can't beat it. So load up, yeah. load up exactly. the pizza. I love those places and the pizza's good. Pizza's good. I'm sorry. Rant over and out. <laughs> Next, please. <laughs> do you have anywhere else on your list, Kat? Yes, I do. Okay. Um. Okay. I have two more, but I can cut them short if we need to move on. No, no. Um. My next pick is at Disneyland. Uh, it's something that I've gotten. I used to get this as like my go-to thing when I was vegan a long time ago. Um. And it's the vegetable gumbo. 
Uh, you can get it in a sourdough bread bowl. You yes. can get it without that. Uh, it used to be at the Royal Street Veranda by Pirates, and now it's at the Harbor Galley. Harbor Galley. Um, it's so good. It has okra in it. It's delicious. It's rich. It's hearty. It's hot. You know, it's it's so good. Um, if you can have the bread, good on you. If you can't, it's okay. <laughs> <You can't though. laughs> I just really enjoy it. And it's officially vegan now. It didn't used to officially be vegan, even though it technically was, but it has the green, it got green leaf certified. It's Twitter verified <laughs> vegan now. Uh, uh, um, it's so good. Approval. Oh, that's hilarious. Exactly. Exactly. It's so good. It's spicy. I put a ton of hot sauce in there. Um, it's just so good. Uh, and it's, it's one of those few things that's like all vegetables and nothing else. So if you're vegan and you're having a hard time, this one is definitely at the top of my list. See, and, and you know, cu- oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I'm kind of like going to segue cause that was one of my thing was, was it? red bowls at Disneyland. Yeah. You got your vegan, you know, your vegan gumbo right there. You have your corn chowder which, you know, corn, vegetables. And then even, I mean, there's no bacon bits in the clam chowder here at Disneyland either. So it's got I mean, clams it's, in it. But it does have clams. I don't know if, you know, I'm going not meatless. Fish is not meat. <laughs> Fish is friend, not food. Well, it is food to me, but, you know. <laughs> He's you know, going pescatarian like there. He's yes. going pescatarian. But, you know, the corn chowder, I... Uh, I, so I missed the corn chowder at Pacific Wharf just because mm-hmm. it did have chunks of ham in there. You can get it without the ham because they put it on last, of course. Um, but yeah, the, the bread bowls are amazing. Mm-hmm. I mean, you and can even do impossible chili too. and broccoli mm-hmm. cheddar. Um, it, mm-hmm. it got grainy over the years to me, though. The, oh, really? You know, I, I do like a smooth cheddar, you know, cheese, oh, yeah. you know, soup. It got grainy, but they have the impossible chili bowl also, I believe, at Coke Corn, uh, uh, you know, the, Coke Corner, uh, you could do the Impossible Chili Bowl with their uh, bread bowl right there. So, yeah. you know, a lot of bread bowl options that you have, meatless, with meat, but, you know, mainly a lot of them are meatless and really good. Broccoli cheddar, corn chowder, v- the vegan uh, gumbo, mm-hmm. plethora. So, and it's great on a cold day, I'll tell you that. It just hasn't <laughs> been cold. <laughs> no, well, it it's what, it, what's funny it to is, be cold. is it my <laughs> next thing is going to tag on to what you guys are talking about because I'm also going to talk about soups. Yay. soups. Um, <laughs> over at Plaza Restaurant in Magic Kingdom, they have soup of the day, but one of the ones that they do that's really good is the tomato soup. I don't mm. know. I feel like you can at Disney. I've never had a bad version of tomato soup. Everywhere I go that's had tomato soup, it's always been really good and not, you know, not like your Campbell's canned soup, like actually good tomato soup. I feel um, like it's more of a bisque than a soup, you know? Yeah. Way, oh, it's yeah. It's creamier, somewhat thicker than your, yeah, than your Campbell's tomato soup type. Yeah. Thing. 100%. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, they also over at plaza have chili that is plant-based it's pinto bean chili and it's served with cashew cream and a lime wedge it's good so that's something else you could get there and then over if you go over to beer garden they have two soups that they do there that are are really good vegetarian it is a wild mushroom it's a nice, like, creamy, full of flavor soup. Uh, and then it's it's my favorite mushroom soup I've had anywhere. Are you sure that it's vegetarian? Do they do, they do anything else to it? Like, As far as I know, there's no meat in it. Okay. All right. I'm just wondering. And then, let's see, the other is the potato leek soup. Yeah, do you like that? Yeah, typically when they make soups like that, if they use a stock, it's a vegetable stock. Gotcha. I'd have to check for sugar. I mean, you'd have to ask, but as far as I know, they are oh, yeah. vegetable. You know, uh, Bubba took the words out of my mouth when it came to the uh, the bread bowls because I was going to, they, they, uh, <laughs> going going to Disney, did. going to Disneyland because I was going to mention the fact that you know you could get these uh, Jolly Holiday combos, you know. Things they have really love. good tomato soup. 
which yeah. I mentioned. What was it? Yeah, the tomato soup <laughs> the and the, the cheese and broccoli bowl. Like they, they used to do a bunch of that kind of stuff over there. And of course, there's so many snacks at both parks, Disneyland and Walt Disney World, that are uh, vegetarian friendly. I mean, look at the pretzels. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you yeah. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's like one of our favorite things to caramel do in the world. Yeah, and Kristen caramel put, dropped apples. them up like, I totally I know, forgot like, about my pretzels. pretzels. <laughs> caramel apples, my favorite. I go to, and and this is going to be what, the third week I even mentioned this place, <laughs> Corn Dog Castle and the fried cheese. It's like. We should just have a podcast on caramel apple. Well, uh, caramel welcome apple to the caramel, pa- yeah, caramel apple podcast. We should. Podcast. <laughs> we'll, have to do, we'll have to do an episode about caramel apples. Um, Sold. Yeah. And then, of course, the low hanging fruit that I mentioned is the fact that you can find sushi at Splitsville, which is completely vegetarian uh, sushi, which is always good. And. Um, which well, one is more, that? Well, you. It's the vegetarian. It's a vegetarian sushi. Oh, that's what it's called. That's what it's called. Oh, okay. Vegetarian sushi. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. that's wow, a, they got really creative with that. They're the name so that. creative with that. Uh, and then you can also find ver- vegetarian sushi at, at Kimonos over Walt Disney World too, in Splitsville, um, both parks, and then um, yeah, and Morimoto's too. Morimoto has a, a, a vegetarian sushi offering too Mm -hmm. if you're into Mm -hmm. it because honestly sometimes you just want to get that nice soft rice and all the veggies in there and maybe some cream cheese and you're good to go so there you go there you go snacks and sushi i don't think i could ever be vegetarian if i had to get rid of meat i still would have to be able to keep seafood i would have to be a pescatarian Mm -hmm. because i just i couldn't do it i couldn't get rid of the seafood too it's hard. Yeah, it'd be hard. It'd be, be really it was hard. It, being vegan was really difficult. Let me tell you, mm-hmm. I I was very very passionate about it, as most vegans are to their detriment. But I, uh, it was difficult. It was difficult. And now that I'm not, sometimes I feel guilty, and I try to eat oh. a lot of vegetables, like because I don't cook. Usually, I end up eating raw things all the time, just like a whole tomato and a cucumber with some like balsamic vinegar for dinner which is what i had for dinner today (laughs) which is vegan on accident it's because i'm lazy not because i'm motivated um but but it's it's hard hard. it's hard like with my allergy i have to read the labels but when you are not eating meat or not eating animal-based products the labels you have to be really 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 intense about it like some chips have chicken powder Mm -hmm. and or like a lactose Mm. powder or whatever. Uh, And you don't think about things like that. You don't don't think about Twizzlers having wheat in them. You don't think about Doritos having chicken bouillon on them, you know? So if you're really, really dedicated to it, respect. I respect that 100%. Um, I don't think I could do it. I like Korean barbecue too much. I'm going to go back. (laughs) I'm going to go back. Yeah. I worked with somebody who, I mean, he was, he was straight edge and vegan. So mm-hmm. like, oh yeah. I yeah. was like, man, <laughs> you're missing out on a lot of fun things there. You know, like well, I mean, taking so much stuff out. Yeah. But Look, like he wouldn't out on drink, tea. he yeah. wouldn't drink certain teas because there, are, it's not all figs. That have wasps that can die in it when they're like, yeah, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> but because some of our teas had fig in it, he would not, wouldn't drink them. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. He was, I mean, he was h- hardcore. Yeah. You have two of Al John's food groups that would be difficult for him, you know, because I know him. That's bacon and bourbon. Mm-hmm. Oh, and you can't mm-hmm. have it. I'm sorry. Those are those are like part of my lifeblood. So fair, <laughs> definitely fair. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See, I've done. Mm-hmm. I've I, gone on vacation in not because I wasn't eating, you know, chicken and steak and that kind of stuff. Just by chance of looking at the menu, all the seafood always caught my attention. There was one trip. I think I was in. We were in Poland. And the Czech Republic for two weeks. And I never ate any 
any of the meat. I kept ordering the seafood dishes <laughs> mm-hmm. and they were delicious. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. I feel guilty sometimes. And then I just think about how yummy bacon is and I go, oh, gosh, Wilbur. Oh, gosh, yes. Darn it, Wilbur. Anyway. <laughs> Truth. <laughs> I've tried. Go- I mean, I've been to the park once where I mean, the only time I didn't eat meat was, you know, during Lent, you know, so on a Friday, of course. And sure. I've been to the park once where it was a Friday and I wasn't eating meat at the time. And it was a struggle. <laughs> it was it's a struggle. It's hard. I just kept eating sweets the whole time, you know, that would, uh, but, you know, I had a, you know, fried cheese on a stick, of course, and, you know, maybe a, a bread bowl, but wow, it was, I, ugh, I don't know. I, it's difficult. Praise to you, everybody that has the will to do that, you know, not eat meat because I just, everything I eat has some type of meat or yeah. product in it. And it's just, wow. And Until that's the doctor why, says yeah. no more meat. No, no. Well, you know, and that's why, uh, you know, for people like me that love burgers, the impossible burger is a good, when I was in LA for a lot of trade shows there around Disneyland, I would oftentimes try to eat healthier because I knew that I would, I was not going to be healthy. You know, Mm -hmm. uh, there's too much stuff going on, but impossible burgers helped me out through that to try to at least sometimes maintain the healthier diet. And then also tofu, because, you know, chili with tofu is a, a good kind of like fake meat substitute that can kind of tide me over and have me think I'm having the protein I need. Yeah. So anyway, but impossible burgers and then burgers with um, like mushroom burgers, like mm-hmm. um, like what they have over there at uh, what's that Italian joint? Oh, for him, over at Disney Springs. Portobello's. <laughs> It's not, be, yeah, it's not Portobello's, it's not Portobello's anymore. anymore. It is. We we literally did this like two, two weeks, weeks ago. ago yeah, I know. We literally did this. Sorry. <sighs> tra- 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 no. Nope. No, you're thinking of Al Forno over at yeah, the boardwalk. That's and not I right. don't know why it's, that always pops in my head. It is Terralina. Terralina. That's it. The, your, I was about geez. to go, hey Siri. Hey Siri. <laughs> 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 Well, did anybody have any last lasting uh, places that they did not mention or food items they they wanted to mention? My last one outside of like, of course, the things we talk about all the time, Dole Whips and grilled cheese and whatever, um, is at Haleo. Um, The gazpacho at Haleo is incredible. Yes. It's so good. Both versions, fall and summer. Tomato and beet. Delicious. Also, they have an endive salad that's endive, um, mandarin oranges, pistachio, and a vinaigrette. And it's incredible. It's so good and refreshing. I will say, if you are not gluten-free, they do have this nice uh, bread. And it's got the the really good, like, crunchy crust to it and really soft Mm. in the center. And they put this delicious tomato on it. Oh, it's so it's good. Mm-hmm. Like a like crusty. Like a crushed, like a crusty yeah. Like a crush. Oh, yeah. It's pan con tomate. <gasps> yes. Oh, yes. That's it. Oh, so good. Mm. <laughs> yes. I bought his. Cook- that was my last one. I got his cookbook. I asked for it as a, <laughs> as a gift. And I mm. got it one year for Christmas. Actually, this past year. And I have made that recipe for that because it is in the book. It's good. A couple of times. It's, it's, it's good. Delicious. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Is it theme time music? I think so. I think we've time. I think we've covered Cue everything. That theme music. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we hope you enjoy enjoyed today's show. If you haven't already, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. You can find us on Anchor or any of the other podcasting places out there. If you would like to support the show, you can do so in a few different ways. One is you can head over to diningatdisney.com and you can click on our links. We've got Amazon. Disney Store and Garden Grocer or if you would like to do a little more each month you can head over to Anchor and sponsor us there for as little as 99 cents a month. Bubba tell everybody Mm -hmm. where they can find us. You could find us at DiningAtDisney.com and Dining at Disney on all your search options. If you go to Google, type in Dining at Disney Podcast, and then Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Dining at Disney. You can find me on Instagram at Big underscore Bubba underscore B. 
And if you are traveling to any place around the world, contact Christian right there at theme parks and cruises at gmail.com. Kat, where can everyone find you? You can find me on Instagram at catastrophe. C-A-T underscore A-S-T-R-O-P-H-E. Make sure to check out some other great podcasts, including the Disney List with Kristen and Al John, WDW Park Hoppers with Park Hopper John and Park Hopper Sid, Tony over at the Disney Parks Podcast, Skull Rock Podcast with Al John and Dave Fossert, and my podcast, Eat the Pictures, which will be back from hiatus next month, if you're wondering. Uh, For Facebook fun, join our friends, the Disney Dorks and the Sorcerer Radio Fun Zone. And don't forget to join the Dining at Disney Facebook group all of our friends are over there, and we say hello to you. And if anybody out there has a suggestion for a show that they would like us to talk about, please let us know. We would love your comments. Until next time, I'm Kristen. With me was Bubba, Cat, and producer Al John. Bon appetit. The information and opinions expressed in this podcast are for entertainment and informational purposes. All other trademarks mentioned are the property of their respective owners. Skull Rock Podcast, talking all things Disney, with your hosts, Al John Go and Dave Bossert. Do you just love to learn more about the magic that embodies animated films, theme park attractions, and more? The all encompassing universe created and produced by the genius of Walt Disney has spanned nearly 100 years in counting. From his earliest film endeavors with the Laughogram cartoons and the Alice comedies, to the creation of Mickey Mouse, to the first animated feature film, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, and then dreaming up Disneyland, Walt Disney continuously raised the creative bar, and today his company has carried on that tradition as a global entertainment juggernaut. I'm Dave Bossard, artist, filmmaker, and author. And I'm Al John Go, musician, podcaster, and radio guy. Every week, Dave and I will explore the entertainment galaxy that is Disney with insightful conversation, stories, and special guests talking all things Disney. Listen to never-before-heard stories and behind-the-scenes moments from some of your favorite Disney films, theme park attractions, performances, books, music, and so much more from knowledgeable, insightful, and thought-provoking hosts and guests. Hear the latest news about Disney past, present, and future. Skull Rock Podcast is your go-to source for the magic we all love. Skull Rock Podcast. Visit SkullRockPodcast.com.